Love the content. Thank you. But going to keep requesting the MX Gold review analysis till we get it? Damn, 8 likes? That's a lot of people that wants to see this review. I mean, 8 likes including myself. So, fine, as you wish, let's do this review. So, the MX Gold card has a weird market positioning. On one hand, it's not the Platinum card, which is positioned as a card for wealthy people. Or for people that likes to show off. You'll see people going around shopping using their Platinum card to really just show off. Cause honestly, there's cards out there that gives much better rewards than the Platinum card. So the Platinum card is more like a status symbol, but what about the Gold card? Who's American Express trying to target with this card? Let's check out the website. Your American Express Gold Rewards cards is made out of 13 grams of stainless steel metal? Available in your choice of Gold or Rose Gold? Holy crap! I didn't even know that the card came in a Rose Gold color. And it's a metal card? Alright. I've seen enough. The cool factor of this card is off the charts. It, this card's a 10 out of 10, an S tier card. All right, we're done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, to be honest, having a cool metal card isn't gonna sway my opinion. It might look cool, but I use Google Pay to pay for my stuff, so nobody's gonna see what card I'm using when I'm paying my stuff. It's not like I'm gonna be impressing any chicks anyways if I get this card because everything's through Google Pay. What did you say? No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's start off with the sign up bonus, which is pretty simple, which is 5,000 points per month if you spend more than $1,000 per month in the first year. So this adds up to 60,000 points. If you transfer all your points to Aeroplan points, that can be worth approximately $1,200 in value. For a card with an annual fee of $250, that's not bad. You know, $250 annual fee is a is a weird number. Most Visa Infinites or World Elite MasterCards, you know, the mid upper tier of Visas and MasterCards, has an annual fee of about $100 to $150 a year. And those top tier credit cards like Visa Infinite Privilege or other premium credit cards start at like four to five hundred dollars in annual fee. So the MX Gold card being two hundred fifty dollars in annual fee is like a tier of its own. But the potential to get nine hundred fifty dollars in first year profit, you know twelve hundred dollars in value minus the two hundred fifty dollars annual fee, that's really good value. Alright, let's move on to rewards. Now I would imagine that the gold card is positioned more as a rewards card than a travel card. Cause it literally says right here, America Express Gold rewards card. So kinda like the Kobo card, which is one of the best rewards cards in Canada. For a rewards card, the gold card has some pretty damn weak rewards. You know, by looking at the website, it's more like a travel card. If we're looking at this card, assuming that this card is a travel card, the rewards are still not impressive. Now, I understand, the main selling point of this card is not the rewards, it's probably the perks. But for $250, what do you get? Let's compare this card to what many believe is the best card in Canada, the Kobo card. Now again, these two cards are very different, cause the Kobo card is actually a rewards card. The gold card says that it's a rewards card, but in reality it's more like a travel card. And travel cards usually have less rewards, but it's made up up by awesome traveling perks. So the gold card has 2x multipliers for groceries, drugstores, and travel. It can't even compare with the Kobo card which has 5x multipliers for groceries and restaurants. Unless you travel a lot, groceries and restaurants are much more important categories than travel. You might say now wait a minute, the Kobo card also has 2x multipliers for travel. Which is true, but the Kobo card is gonna nerf that in October. So as of October this year, the Kobo card won't give you any extra multipliers for travel. With that said, both cards give you one extra point for booking your travels through the MX Travel Portal. So based off rewards, the Kobo card is by far the more superior card. And even if we consider the gold card a travel card, the rewards are really not that good. Come on, it's $250 in annual fee. I mean, if the annual fee was $150, then the crappy rewards are a little bit more forgivable. Next, the insurance. Now, on paper, the card has 11 insurance coverages. Now, 11 insurance coverages on 95% of other credit cards in Canada would be amazing. But remember, this is a $250 card we're talking about. The Scotiabank Gold Amex offers 12 insurance coverages and the annual fee is only $120. Couple things on the Amex Gold Cards Insurance Package that's disappointing. First of all, 
no mobile insurance. For a card with an annual fee of $250, you wouldn't even include the mobile insurance. And what's most disappointing is that a lot of travel insurance coverages are not that good. You see, emergency medical coverage, which is the most important coverage for traveling, this card limits the coverage to people under 65. And it's only 15 days, I mean look. If this card is supposed to be a travel card, I mean, it can't be a rewards card because the rewards are crap. Why are the travel insurance coverages so disappointing? Let's continue. I mean, 500 bucks for flight delays, baggage delays, hotel burglary, stolen and lost baggage. Pretty damn disappointing. I would expect at least a thousand dollar coverage for these different categories, especially since this card is $250 in annual fee. I mean, some cards that cost half of what this card costs has much better insurance coverages. So based on the insurance coverage, I'm confused because if this card was supposed to be a travel card, the insurance coverage surely doesn't look like it. Now let's talk about the perks. I think this is where MX tries to sell this card to its customers. Cause it's always been MX that offers the best perks to its customers. But is it worth $250 just to get those perks? Cause just based off the rewards and insurance, I don't see any reason to get this card. I mean the sign up bonus is great, but if the perks suck as well, then the only reason to get this card is to get this card for the sign up bonus and cancel this card after a year. For First of all, $100 annual travel credit if you book more than $100 through the MX travel portal. It's actually not bad. As with most bank travel portals, there's people that claim that MX travel portals marks up the price of plane tickets as well as hotels. Now I've never booked through MX travel portals before but through my research, the price of plane tickets aren't that far off than if you booked directly through airlines. You get 4 free lounge access which is pretty solid. A $50 Nexus rebate once every 4 years. Again, the Nexus application fee is increasing to $120 US dollars, so the $50 won't really cover it. But it does offset the cost a little bit. You get hotel collection perk at participating hotels, so potential room upgrades or $100 US dollars hotel credit when available, and also some car rental benefits. So overall, this card does have a heavy emphasis on travel perks which makes your traveling experience more comfortable. And even with a $250 annual fee price tag, I would say that the perks are pretty decent. Okay, let's give this card a score. Starting off with the rewards. Nothing to say here, if you want a true rewards card, just go with the Kobo card. It's not even comparable, so 2 out of 10. Next, the insurance. I mean, yes, this card does have 11 insurance coverages. But for $250 annual fee, no mobile insurance, no emergency medical coverage for people over 65, low coverage amount for other travel categories like flight or baggage delays. So for insurance, 4 out of 10. Next, the perks, which I believe is one of the only reasons to maybe get this card. If you travel like at least twice a year and use all their traveling perks like the lounge access and you book your travels through the Amex travel portal, then the perks of this card will be a 9 out of 10, which brings the average score of this card at a 5 out of 10, so a D tier card. But you know what, the sign up bonus is actually pretty sick. So basically, the best way to use this card is to get this card for the sign up bonus and use it for a year. And during this year, apply for the Nexus cause you get a $50 rebate. Cause if you don't travel at least twice a year with this card, there's literally no other reason to get this card other than to show off. Cause it's made out of metal and even I have to admit. It looks cool. But here's the thing, even if you do travel, there's other travel cards out there that's both cheaper and offer better rewards. But really, the MX Gold card is like a flashy card to show off to your friends. It's just a poor man's platinum card essentially. So if I see somebody out in the restaurant pulling out this card, I would get the impression that they're either A, a show off that makes terrible financial decisions, or B, they're probably gonna cancel this card after a year after they get their sign up bonus. Alright, that's it for today. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. So this is not sponsored content, but uh, a friend of mine started an Amazon store and look at this.
It's a magnet lamp. I mean, this is pretty cool accessory, so if you're interested, I'll leave the Amazon link down in the description. Again, I'm not getting paid to do this. The link below isn't even an affiliate link for me. I just think it looks cool anyways. If you learned something from the video, a like and sub will always be appreciated. It just helps the YouTube algorithm push my channel to more Canadians in need of personal finance content. So what do you think about the MX Gold card? Leave it in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, I make financial tips for Canadians in my long form content and financial comedy in my shorts. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.